Down to the Boomers in their half-court set. Tiff Mitchell from the perimeter. Her three balls down. Now Mitchell pushing for the Boomers. Mitchell finds two feet in the paint. Kick out to Wallace. Her three balls down. Back-to-back -back triples Melbourne Boomers. Now a chance to push for the Capitals. Alex Bunton, another inside touch, another bucket. You mentioned a pre-game Jacinta, inside touches to Alex Bunton, has been fruitful early for the Capitals. Now it's Kayla George from the outside, and that triple hurts. I'm hoping the Caps here will get the ball through a couple of more sets of hands. Or another N1 play for Alex Bunton, that will do as well. Mitchell from the perimeter, quickly inside, good ball movement from the Boomers. George for three. Her triples down, the Boomers are hot early. Coach Christian Veal of the Canberra Capitals is pretty happy. They're going to see a bit of a drags action here. Pick and roll, try and get an overside and a three. That is on cue. Thanks for your insight there, Jenny. As you're saying it, the, the Capitals execute the play. And she's spot on about Miller Goodchild. Can play and what an addition for the Boomers. That's a nice bucket there for the Capitals. The Boomers off and running. Wallace, nice find to get Murray in the corner, and that is money during the quarter break. Big bucket, Alex Bunton. We'll come back to Jenny's screen later. The Boomers going back to Kayla George, who finds Tiff Mitchell on the perimeter. Penetrates against Swain. Good defense that time, Shanice Swain. In WNBL 23. Well said, Jenny. Answered the question with your response anyway. Jenny Swain gets a bucket. The Caps a chance to push through Swain. Bunsen fighting for position. Her turnaround is money! A patient just chipping away at this lead. Christy Wallace with pace in transition. Kalea up to the challenge. The Capitals get it back. Cohen makes them both. And we've got a one-point ball game. The boom is the out of timeout set. Finds George in the paint. Eight on the shot clock. Turnover came with George. The Capitals off and running. Cheering her on. The morale and the energy from the Canberra Capitals bench is good to see as Davison. Offensive rebound and bucket stretches it back to a five-point game. Yeah, much better finish. I'm glad that she was able to rectify that mistake from the last play. Ooh, great dump inside. Davison again, where she's at home. Mia Murray from the perimeter, that is money, same spot, same result, the Boomers stretch it back out. Under 10 remaining ball in Tiff Mitchell's hands. Mitchell goes to work, finds Wallace on the perimeter, her three balls down. For years they've been asking where's Wally and Christy goes, here I am. Two feet in the paint creating for the Boomers. Let's see where this second half goes as we are underway. It is the Boomers by 11 to start. But the Capitals eating into that straight away. Inside, outside, Mitchell passes up the 3-5 on the shot clock. Davison needs to go to work. Up and under's in, big bucket, Panina Davison. Shot clock on single digits. Bunton on the perimeter, five now. Time to go to work. Kalea needs to go. Play through George at the five. Mitchell. Two feet in the paint, again feeding the perimeter. Now it's Murray, re-penetrates. Davison, again up and under, back-to-back -back bucket. The Caps get another look. Through Cohen, how about the hustle for the UC Capitals? Kalea launches a three. Big bucket, UC Capitals. How about Dakia Cohen just getting extra shots for the Capitals? 100%, and sometimes it doesn't have to be a clean O-board, but those loose scraps also make just a big difference. But Wally... Oh, good hands, Tiff Mitchell. Basket counts and the foul. Pushing the tempo for the Boomers. Tonks able to slow her. Mia Murray penetrates baseline. Good ball mover from the Boomers. Ends with Kayla George. And that is money every time. Um, considering the, the, if you're down by 20 plus points, why not? Kayla George defensive rebound. Just like the first quarter. Kayla George putting her input on the game as the Boomers run and find Panina Davison. And I think transferring your point guard skills to a coaching role is, is incredible and uh, definitely a lot to pass on to our future point guards as well. Brings it to 19 as Wallace slows it down for the Boomers. 
Mitchell looking for a call that's not forthcoming. So takes it aggressively to the hoop for the basket in response. Kayla George a bit of point forward. Finds Mitchell on the perimeter. Now Davidson a chance to go to work. Nice move in the post for Nina Davidson. Doco sideline, uh, uh, which followed their championship season last year. And let's go back to it. As Tiff Mitchell, how athletic. Look at her on the break. Picks the pocket else to go. Uh, as we see some of the highlights in this quarter, and it was the Melbourne Boomers show, the athletes. But the pressure from this Melbourne Boomers outfit, considering they're up by the margin they are, is just exceptional to watch. High on ball for the Capitals. Cohen in the high block, looking for cutters. Settles to the mid-range jump at bottom of the net. Kayla George, one out versus Cohen, mid-range jumper. That is money, Kayla George. And we've got the great Robin Ma sitting courtside. How good is it to have her? Three-time Olympian and just about to be inducted into the FIBA Hall of Fame, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to interview her in a few minutes' time. Burrell trying to turn the corner. Single-digit shot clock. Turnover Capitals. Wallace running for the Boomers. George, another look from the perimeter. Decides against it. Finds Mila. Good child. Bunton comes up with the rebound. Another look for the Capitals. Tonk spawning up. Bunton fights the position underneath. While Cohen. Boomers now slow the tempo in their half-court set. Nelson Adota, big bucket. I'm here, guys, with one of the greats of the Australian Opals, Beck Allen, sitting courtside with me. How lucky am I to have her here? Obviously, she'd rather be overseas in Spain playing. Come back to my, my former team, like you said, and um, the recovery's going well. Um, hopefully, in a couple more weeks, I'll be able to go back to Spain, but we'll see what happens. And talk to me about that. You've been overseas now since 2016. You were so young when you went over, and just like that, it's been eight years, almost six, seven years that you've been there. Incredible. So for me to even be here, because it's been a long time since I've seen a game live, and I just see how, especially from Melbourne Boomers days, it just keeps climbing up and up and up, and that's also to the league as well. The level that the Signet WMBL's at, maybe it'll just entice her to want to come back, or a team might just make an offer to her, and we may see Beck Allen back in the Signet WMBL one day. If Bunsen mid-range jumper doesn't go, Christy Wallace doing a bit of everything, cleaning up the glass, pushing the tempo for the Boomers. No look, pass. Boomers share the ball, and through the bucket to Nelson Adota. Christy Wallace has to settle for the hockey assist on that one. Nice little no-look dime. Brown just unselfish finds her teammate. Now she guards Cohen. Tough bucket to Kia Cohen. Half oh, course set. Boomers getting a chance to play some of their second unit. Big shot again. Same result. Rachel Brewster. You know the crowds have been fantastic. You know at all the games. So. You know, although it's it's a bit of a wipeout here, but you know, Canberra have got a few missing players and a few injured players, so and great to hear from Jenny Screen there courtside with Robin Ma just then early with Beck Allen. Love seeing these icons of Australian basketball in the state. Ma didn't say she was a Boomers fan through and through because one of my favourite mo uh, memories of Robin Ma was that she was part of that iconic Sydney Flames team alongside Michelle Timms, where they went undefeated. Building towards Another run at the championship here in the Signet WMU. Lily Carmody in the game. Brewster able to knock down the jumper. Now the mid range she's just gone boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say way out. Oh, Shanice Swain going the other way, knocking it down. Shanice Swain just continuing to push valuable minutes for these Capitals. Obviously the game out of reach, but still trying to make it known. Davison again. Swain finds Burrell. Burrell gets her own rebound. Including five rebounds to go with it. She has been outstanding today and I hope that she's uh, proud of her efforts. And uh, as you said, we've got Wally, 15-4 and seven assists. Still play with confidence and back themselves in this situation. Clock counting down on this one. Big win. Inbound for the boom is one last look at it. Brewster doesn't let that one fly. That is the game. It is the Deacon Melbourne Boomers, 103, defeating the UC Capitals.